what's poppin', what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got my dude, my dude, Eddie Fuse, in the building. You see, me and Eddie Fuse, Eddie Fuse is a dating coach. Uh, you know, I, I met Eddie Fuse, like, maybe, what, like, in 2012. I was on the street promoting one of my, my shows. And, and <laughs> yeah, you remember that? I was promoting one of my shows. And um, you stopped me in the street. We was talking, chopping it up. So, you know, we just we just kept in touch over the years. But um, but Eddie Fuse is a dating coach. Um, you know, you got videos on YouTube. But let me, you explain who you are to the people so they know what you do. You know, let them know what's popping, all right? Basically, in short, my name is Eddie Fuse. I'm a dating and social development coach. So, in short, I do pretty much the same thing as Lakari does. I take guys out. Teach guys game, show them how to approach women, talk to women, interact with women, and just better their social skills in general. Whether that's for women, networking, making new friends, or whatever. That's what's up. That's what's up. So let's let's just jump right into this, so we could you know get these guys to 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 you know get some game here because Eddie Fuse drops a lot of heavy shit. You feel what I'm saying? Because you know I, I I hear a lot of guys do this and that, but. Eddie Fuse actually, like, man, he be saying some shit. I listen to a lot of his videos, and it's like, it teaches me a lot of stuff. So uh, the first thing I want to talk about is how how important uh, do you think mindset is when it comes to getting women? Because I, I know a lot of guys, like, what I notice is, like, the ones who are having tr the most trouble, it seems like their mindset isn't right. So how important is the mindset, you know, when it comes to all of this? I mean, mindset is pretty much... 80% of it, if you look at that, you know, the iceberg, the tip of the iceberg is everything that you can teach somebody. Right. Mindset is the other 80% of it. So it's, you know, if, if uh, let's say I think I'm an unattractive guy mm -hmm. and I go approach a woman, I'm going to approach her from the mindset that I'm unattractive. So my energy and the vibe I'm giving off is going to be saying, like, I know you don't like me anyway. But right. I'm just trying. So, you know, women only really reflect back to us what we give them. Mm. You know, they, they, women, they're, they're I'm not going to be political today. They're followers by nature. Right, right. So if they're going to follow your energy, whatever it is. Mm. If your energy saying, like, I'm a fly, confident, cool dude, they're going to view you that way. If right. your energy saying, I'm ugly and unattractive, people don't like me, they're going to follow your energy. Mm. Real talk, real talk, man. And and, and it, was, it was funny because, like, I was watching one of your videos, and this, this is the, it was interesting because you were talking about, like, sort of how to get a woman – um, attached to you or fall to like fall in love with you because a lot of guys they'll meet a girl they're into her but they don't know how to keep her interested to a certain extent and I, and I know you were talking about something like you gotta uh, have her like do something she's never done before so what can you explain that a little bit well I originally got this idea and concept from Patrice O'Neal and I always shout him out because you know I learned yeah, a lot Patrice of games from Patrice O'Neal yeah. so but I pretty much expanded on it and just and made it you know what I mean? Just made it easier to digest for, for more people. But it's pretty much, he had this concept called pussy versus time, right? Men are trying to get the pussy without giving up that much of their time. And women are trying to get as much of their time as possible before giving it up. Mm -hmm. So it all just depends on how, how valuable you are as opposed to how valuable she is. Right. The more valuable you think you are, the less of your time you're willing to give before getting some and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So what I expanded that too, because it's not just time. Women don't just want our time. And we don't just want pussy from women either. That's one thing that we want, but it's pretty much investment and compliance. Women want us to invest, right? right? And that's going out. Even if it's walking, to, like right now, a lot of women, the guys aren't trying to go on dates anymore, mm -hmm. and I don't blame. Them, <laughs> right, right. But a woman, even you walking her to the around the corner in the park, mm -hmm. walking to the park with her is an investment from you, so that fills her with satisfaction. Right, it's to know that she got you to come out of your home to walk with her. And represent yourself with her, even if it's a free day. Right. So, you know, so what, what a woman is going to fall in love based upon how much she's complied with your requests. Mm -hmm. Right. And the more she's complied with it, the less attached she is to it. Let's say a girl that's a virgin. When she complies with the request to sleep with you, nine times out of ten, she's going to get really attached because this is the first time she's ever given anybody this level of compliance before. Right. Right. Now, if a girl has slept with 200 guys, that it's not the first time anymore. The sex she don't get attached to sex, but she still can get attached to something that's new. Mm. So she still will get attached to something that's the first time she's ever done this or the first time she's ever done that. Because a girl registers compliance in her mind, says, "Man," and girls think like this, "Man, I must really love him because if I didn't really love him, I wouldn't have done X, Y, Z for him." Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So that's the highest level of compliance. 
the higher you push your compliance, the more deep or connected to you she's going to feel. When you get her to give in a thing she's not used to giving into. Right. I know. So, and I think that's really interesting for guys to, to know because, you know, I think a lot of guys sort of come at situations with women the same or they have like the same type of vibe as other dudes. They don't really tap into who they are. And it's like when you're interacting with a girl and let's say you're having a conversation with her or you're 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 hanging out with her. And if you if you sort of have like the same old same type of thing that every other guy does, or you don't bring anything interesting to the table or mm-hmm. you don't sort of have her like open up to you to a certain degree. You know what I mean? There's really none of that like attachment. That's right. Happen, you know what right. I mean? that, the goal from, from, from the start is to get a woman, even if you, when you say, what's your name to a woman, right? Right. And if she gives you her name, that's still low level compliance. Mm-hmm. It's not attachment because she's done this a lot of times, Right. but just still working your way up the ladder of things that she's complying. Now she feels a little more connected to you. Just the fact that she responded to you. Mm-hmm. So, and you just keep pushing that and pushing that and pushing that. You know what I mean? And that's that that's what really creates the connection. It's one of the things that create the connection between a man and a woman. Right. Real talk. And, and what one thing I wanted to talk about too is um I saw one of your videos where you talking about gold diggers, right? And so oh. a lot yeah, so a lot of dudes they be hating on the chicks that are gold diggers, but you got you got an interesting perspective on that. So what's your thoughts on women who are, are gold diggers and what's like your, you know, I guess your philosophy on that type of like lifestyle or whatever? Well, I mean, the one thing, it's nothing wrong with a woman being a gold digger. I have to emphasize this. And I made the video because I kept seeing these prank videos on YouTube. Right. All of these women, like the men trying to catch women in the act of being gold diggers. Right. The equivalent of that is women making a YouTube channel trying to prank men, putting a woman with a fat ass in the room mm. and, and, and making her say, come get some. Right. And crank it, man, and say, oh, you did it. Right, you're right. That, you're a bad guy. You, you, you had sex with that woman with the fat ass. I asked you to have sex with her. Right, that was really right. attractive. Right. You know, because mastering the game for a man, right? Because sex is something that we have to become good at. This is why me and you have, mm-hmm. can do what we do. Right. Because men are trying to learn how to get sex. Mm-hmm. Women don't have to learn how to get sex. They can walk down the street and say, hey, who wants to fuck me? And right. guys will line up. Right. Even if they're fat and ugly, they can still get a a good amount of guys in line up. Not everybody, but they can still get guys in line up. Right. So that, that that's no challenge for them. So sex is very low in the bar for them. Mm. The challenge for women, what women want from us is time, energy, investment, and resources. Mm. Right? What we want from them is pussy compliance, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So, you know, them do what we say, them to, you know, just cooperate, be agreeable with us. So mastering the game for men is being able to get the pussy, get the compliance, get the cooperation without having to invest. Right. That's when you become a player. When you can get this from lots of women without having to invest. Mm. So the flip side of that is mastering the game for a woman is being able to get the resources, the time, investment, and the energy mm. without having to, to to comply with the guy's request. Right, right. Not having to sleep with them. Now, I have to make a distinction. If you're sleeping with a guy for money, you're not a gold digger. You're a prostitute. Mm. But... You can master the game as a woman, and you can get resources from men without sleeping with them. That's how you master the game as a woman. That's something that a woman coach could teach, mm-hmm. right? Like, right. man, you could teach guys how to get laid. Mm. That's something a woman could teach women how to get resources without having to sleep with guys. That right. would be a career for a, a, a master female gold digger. Right, That's right. Like, <laughs> That would be crazy. That would be crazy. That would be crazy, man. I ain't start doing it. If any woman is watching, I know, right? I can put, put y'all on game, man. Because the women out here are doing this. There's women all the time that have a guy take them out on 20 dates. They don't sleep with them. Right. You know, the guys buying them gifts and things. They still don't sleep with them. Right. So this is happening. You know, yeah. this is already happening. Those yeah. are the women that have mastered the game. Real talk. On their end. Real talk. Women, not to cut you off, but women like to say, I'm a player too. Like, you're only a player if you're able to get what you want. Right, right. Yeah. You know, what I mean, you can have sex with a billion guys today, right? Because that's you, not that's not a player for a woman because sex she right. can get sex for whatever. But right. you know, when a chick gets the other, and I think that's the the the, the distinction guys got to understand because a lot of guys they'll tell me shit like, um, you know, oh, it's so easy for women and women, you know, and I'm like, well, it's easy for them to get sex, but a lot of women don't just want sex, so that's not really their goal. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like a lot of women, their goal is to either get like. A guy who's going to give them resources or a guy who's going to sort of commit to them. and get, You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that's a little bit harder for women in general. Right, right. right. So. Now, if you've gotten five high-quality guys mm-hmm. to propose and try to marry you. Right, right. And give you the ring and let you keep the ring. Right. And you've mastered the game. Exactly, right. you're getting the thing that you want. Mm-hmm. You know exactly. what I mean? You, you can't give a guy, give a hundred guys what they want and think you're a player. Right. That's like you. That's like me and you both work and sell cars. 
I'm sell. I sell a hundred cars today. You gave a hundred cars away. Right, right. You said, you said, you said we're, we're both the same. No, you gave yours away. Right. I actually sold these cars. I got exactly. people to spend their money. Right. No, nah, real talk. Real talk. So what was interesting? I was, I was watching this video last night of yours with I think it was titled "Um, I Want to Like You, But I Don't Know You Yet" or something oh, like yes. that. Right. And in that video, you were talking about sort of like how um women will sort of game men in a certain way, and men get a little too emotionally attached to a woman too quick so can you explain like what you were talking about in that video and everything uh i mean the 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 video started from um men not understanding that women have game too right right we think that we're the only ones with game and that women are these innocent creatures and they're just Mm -hmm. susceptible or non-susceptible to our game right so what is a woman's game when she actually likes you and you may just want to hit it, but she wants to get more from you mm. than you just want to hit it, you know? Right. A woman's game is for one, like a, a guy's game is pretending that we're more confident than we are. We pretend we make more money than we do. Mm. We just pretend we're, we're, we're bigger, smarter, brighter than we right. are. <laughs> like, like peacocks, like they spread their the wings and, and they show this big, bright image that they're not really that they live up to. A woman's game mm. is one convincing you that she believes you. Right. If she believes all you, she can, in the back of her mind, she could be like, man, this nigga ain't shit. Right, right. If she says that, her game is over. She'll mm-hmm. never get the resources. She'll never get what she wants from you. She has to kind of, you know, oh, really? Ask your questions. Wow, I, I knew you made a lot of money because you, you, you're so smart. I, I knew you were, you know, you, 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 were, you were as successful as you're pretending to be. Right. And two, she has to pretend that she's this meek, submissive, innocent girl. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I deal with a lot of guys who say, man, when I first met her, man, she was so sweet. She right, was so nice. Right. Three months later, she's being rebellious. I don't know what happened. It, ain't nothing happened. She right. was putting on the show for you. Right. For the three months, just to get you to this point of where now you got to talk to me. Because mm-hmm. you, you're so invested in her. Mm-hmm. And I bet you can't just walk away. Right. So she, she put on her show. So women, they have game, guys. But their you, you can't their game is not our game. Their game is convincing you that they're something that they're not. Just the same way we do, just in a different way. Right, right. That's crazy, man. That's it. and you know I think a lot of guys aren't up on that, so they think because you know women put on this sort of innocent role, so they just sort of take that for face value. You know what I mean? And then so when things switch up or they some comes from the left, they're like, oh, I didn't know that was you know going down. You know what I mean? But I was watching on uh, Tariq Nasheed. Shout out to Tariq Nasheed. Yeah, I actually got him late. I, didn't, I found out about Tariq Nasheed probably like a year and a half ago. Right. Got him late. But I, I watched his ISM radio show. Right. ISM? Oh, yeah, yeah. Tariq be doing his thing, man. I, I'm always I'm always promoting my shit on this show, too. So, yeah, uh, Tariq Nasheed is the dude. The first, I remember the first time I heard about him like a year ago, I, was, I heard you know, advertising on Right, the, right. I'm like, hey, shit. Like, <laughs> It's yeah, it's but yeah, the show isn't radio with the girl Layla on it. Right. Right? Layla right. on the show always pretends she's innocent. Mm. Right? right? She pretends that she's like, she's, oh, I don't do that. I don't get down like that. And you and she at first I was believing. I was like, no, nah, you know, I don't I don't know. Right? right. But I always like when Tariq when she said that Tariq always goes up, please. Like right, he don't right, he don't right. hear Because you know, he been he been in the game for a while. He heard this innocent story a billion times exactly, before. Exactly, exactly. And then you see little things about her start to come out. She said she did a video shoot in Jamaica. Mm. Uh, you know, just because she had a fat ass, they flew her out when she was 18. Right. So you see little things start to come out. I'm just like, I like, she ain't as innocent as she pretending to be. Right. So, girls, you guys, a girl, nine times out of ten, a woman is not as innocent as you think she is. We, we've all heard of the plus, the times three vote for God. If a guy said he had sex with 100 women, divided by three. Right. If a woman says she has sex with Ten guys divided by three. Mm-hmm. So, and, and, and which is again, they pretend they're less, they're smaller, mm-hmm. and meeker and more submissive. Men pretend we're bigger. Right, right, and right, right. On that level, how many people we slept with? Right. Now, nah, real talk, real talk. So, um, I remember there was a video you did, and I think you were you were talking about a story about some girl you went on a date with, and she, you, you heard you were, that? You were, yeah, I think you was supposed, you was trying to get her back to the crib or something like that, and she said something to the effect of, oh, you know, we're not going to have sex or something. And you said, listen, we're not going to do anything you don't want to do. And, but, but you you specifically was saying that you didn't say we're not going to have sex because you don't want to say we're not going to do something and then you end up doing it. So it's sort of like 
as a man, you say what you're going to do and not like flip flop sort of way. You understand what I'm saying? So how important is that to be like authentic and, and, and stick to your word as a man when you're interacting with women and, you know, and all that other cool. stuff? I just briefly tell the story. If, I, if anybody, if you're listening to this, you should go back and listen to that story. It's right. a good story. It's called Dating Stories Volume One on my channel. Mm. But basically, it was this girl went out with who repeatedly kept telling me over and over that she's really looking for a boyfriend, really looking for a boyfriend. Right. She's now looking for casual sex. She hasn't had a boyfriend since college, mm. and she, she was about 28, 29 at the time. And you know, so she was. She kept telling me, you know, that she's serious and she's really trying to save herself for a relationship and things like that. So me and her ended up getting it on really quick. I suggested we go back to her place and I seen her look in her eyes so I knew she was going to do it. But she put she put the show back on. Now the game is begin. She's like, no, I don't think it's a good idea. It's not a good idea. Not a good idea. Right. Um, and then finally she gave in and she goes, she goes, all right, fine, we can go, but you have to promise me we're not going to have sex. Right. <laughs> And I, I'm, I'm like, I'm not, I said, listen, I'm not promising you anything. Right. What I can promise you is that we're not going to do anything that you don't want to do. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? I will not be forced, pushed to do anything that you don't want to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? I thought that so was then, some play-ass shit right there, too. When I heard you say that, I was like, that's what's up. Well, go ahead. <laughs> right. But that's because of me, I value integrity and dignity. So if I tell you I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. Right. And if I tell you I'm not going to do something, I'm not going to do it. Right. So some, a lot of guys will say, all right, fine, we won't have sex, but still be doing it anyway. Right, but right. I, I was always taught that your word is all you have. You know what I mean? Your words and your nuts is all you have. So if I'm telling you I'm not going to do it, if I would have told her that, I'm not going to do it, I wouldn't have slept with her at all, even if she tried to force herself on me because mm. I said I wasn't going to do it. That's just my how, how I get down. Right. But anyway, so she ends up, I, I told her, listen, we're not going to do nothing I want to do. She kept trying to get me to agree that we wouldn't have sex. Mm. And, and the reason she did that is, so that if she had sex with me, it could be my fault. Right. And she could hold it against me mm. because I told her I wouldn't do it. Right. Now I'm the bad guy. I'm the enemy. And she then has the emotional support to walk away. Right. And that's the thing with women. A woman can't walk away without emotion. Mm. She needs something against you to walk away. If a, if a girl tries to break up with you, you break up with you and you're just like, listen, just go, just go sit down. We're not breaking up. Right. She can't. <laughs> She needs to be sprung in emotion, and she needs emotion to spring her forward. Right. So unless she's going to be devastated, because how women work is, um, is like, and like you said, unless she's going to be devastated, they can't, they can't walk away and move on. Right. Right. Because you know? what women are never sure about how they feel. Mm. They use the outside world to validate their feelings. So if a woman says. Man, we should break up, and you get emotional, and you say, "Why, why, why do you want to break up? I, what did I do?" You, she then says, "Oh, he must have did something because he's getting all emotional and reacting." Right. This is all subconscious, though. This is not—they're not thinking this way, so they—they're gonna feel justified. If you say, "Please, like, get out of here," they're gonna say, "Oh, maybe, maybe I don't know." You know what I mean? If he did anything, right? I'm one hundred percent sure because he's not even reacting at all. Mm. So they need that reaction to move forward. So anyway, I didn't give her that. So we got as soon as we got upstairs, because I didn't give her that, she went in the shower, came back, threw off her clothes immediately, right. and everything went down. Because I didn't give her that. I didn't give her anything to hold on to. Mm. I wasn't willing to compromise my integrity because she wanted me. Because she felt like she was compromising hers mm. by sleeping. So she needed me to be an equal partner, right? And compromising my own, but I refused to do so. And then she respected <laughs> me for it. Right now, nah, real shit, man. So let's let's talk about and, this. Go ahead. One more thing, and when you when you do this, right? When you operate with this level of integrity, and you make sure you keep a woman's respect. A lot of guys, you may get laid, and you may, you know, I mean, you may be able to fuck a couple of girls, but it's what length are women willing to go for you? You know what I mean? That woman right there was willing to go to dramatic lengths for me in her life to make sure that she could make me happy in any way she could. Mm. So it's like it's one thing to get laid, but it's like are women really being in service to you and, and willing to help you out and amplify your life? Mm. Do they respect you enough to invest themselves completely in you and do things for you that way beyond sex? Right. And that's, that's what true. you really want. Sex is cool, but I also want women willing to do things for me and push me forward and do like you know that's a woman out here to to help us. Mm -hmm. You know they're, they're they're but go ahead. Nah, that's real. That's real talk, man. That's real talk. Cause and and you mentioned like respect, and I wanted to you know ask like how important is it for 
you know, women to respect you? And also, what are some things that a guy can do that will make a woman sort of like not respect them? You know what I mean? Like lose respect for the guy. Like what are some some things that go down with that? Well, one, um, a woman's love is directly tied to her respect. The moment she loses respect for you, her love for you goes right out the window. That's why when you see these guys overly simping, the woman has lost so much respect for these guys that they're treating them wrong, disrespecting them, doing the guy wrong, cheating on them, all kind of shit. Because she don't even respect you as a man at this point. Right. It puts you beneath her. So anything that she does, she feels justified for you. Um, and a lot of guys lose respect by not staying true to what they feel, mm. you know, and, and compromising their integrity and their morals. Like, for, it's, for example, you can lose respect from a woman just by telling her, pretending that you like her more than you do so you can sleep with her. Mm. Damn. <laughs> you lose the respect. Right, right. And when you keep it real with the woman, mm. keep it on it with her. Not only will, like I said, not only will they respect you, honor you, but they'll be in service to you and willing to go to great lengths to make you happy mm-hmm. for, the, for whatever amount of time you guys are around each other. Because mm-hmm. she was like, you know what? This guy always kept it real with me. And I mean, I always tell guys, if I can give them one piece of advice, it would be tell women the truth, man. Mm, I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> right, as you show your wedding ring. Right, right. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'd be like, That's look, this is what it is. That's what about you, though, because even when I would go out with you, that wedding ring always stayed on. Right, right. That's what I'm saying, because guys don't know, me and Eddie Fuse be out. You know what I mean? Like, we, we, we've we yeah. done fucking uh, uh, lectures together. We did, like, an all-women's, like you know, event we've done, we've been out, you know, just out talking to girls, whatever. And, and it's like this, the joint stays on, you feel what I mean? So it's like, yeah. you let you're hollering, go. talk to girls, smash, you doing what you do. Right. That wedding ring always stay on. I always respected that. And that, that's, that's back to integrity. Mm. You know, right. You, you could take it off and make things a little bit easier for yourself. Mm-hmm. Right, 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 right. You can right, make exactly. it a little bit easier where right. that question don't even come up. You're going straight from the conversation to where you need to be. Now it's like a, Wait, you married? Like and now, you right. know, now you have to, you have to <laughs> jump over a hurdle in your game. Right, exactly. You know, which ain't even a hurdle. It, it really helps, mm. to be honest. But right. That's all I can because it's just the honesty. Honesty is refreshing, man. Right. Tell women the truth, dog. Right. Like yo, a lot. You you may lose a couple women. You may like like you said. You may lose two, but you'll gain six more, man. Mm-hmm. Right. You'll gain six more instead of. Hey, go ahead. Right. And, and so what are, what are some mistakes? that you've you've made in the game that taught you certain lessons that you could tell guys like hey you know i i've been through this and this is you know you shouldn't go down that route or you know like what are some lessons that you learned um you know along your way when you when you're doing your thing well the, the biggest lesson i've learned is is the moment you're unwilling to walk away mm. you're gonna lose mm. right the moment you're unwilling to walk away even if you look at I've, even growing up, I've worked at places where there's been the hardest working person at the store is always on the lowest level, mm. right? Because they are they work, they work, and they just try to be good. Mm. They try to be good to the corporation and be good and be good and be good, but they're not demanding more. Right. They never get promoted. They never get a raise. They don't, they don't really get respect. You know, they'll have them work in a low-level position for 20 years. Mm-hmm. And they never get promoted because they don't have the esteem in them to say, you know, I deserve better than this. And I'll leave this place if they don't give me better. Right, right, right. So the main thing I've learned is you have to be willing to walk away, man. Mm-hmm. The moment you – because a woman, they can sense what we feel. Their intuition is, is through the roof. This is why lying to them is unnecessary because they feel it subconsciously anyway. They're going to treat you accordingly. You know, like it may not play out day one, but it'll play out in month three, mm. where you don't realize that if you're dealing with shit now because of the bullshit you was doing six weeks ago, right? And it's it's starting to manifest in her and come out now. Mm. So um, any woman I've ever been at, once I once I'm in my thing where it's like, nah, you know what? She's kind of dope. Like I don't know if I'll just walk away like I did all the other girls. Problems start immediately, right? You know what I'm saying? Because you're pedestaling them. You have to, you know, a woman has to earn that. She has to earn the the right for you to say, like, I'm willing to stay here and work this thing out with her. Mm-hmm. So you have to always keep that in you, man. So right. I think that's the part. You have to be willing to walk away. Mm-hmm. Really and, sure. willing to and if you can't do without it, don't ask for it. Mm-hmm. Right? right? Only ask for things that you know that you can do without. Mm-hmm. Don't put yourself in that position where you don't ask for money that you know you can't afford to pay back. Right, right. <laughs> don't ask for pussy if you know that 
if she doesn't give it to you, you're gonna be upset. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Only ask for things that you can do without. Mm. Um, I've learned that's that's another lesson I've learned. Mm-hmm. You have to be if you you have to be nonchalant. You know, if you if if this if this like a lot of guys, I'm sure you get these emails too. Guys like, man, it's this girl that works in my job, or this is girl, she's at my school, and I really want this one girl. Right. What do I do? Right. It's like, you know, it's like it's like it's like you 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 telling me that you got a weight lifting lifting competition on Friday mm-hmm. and you got to be able to lift a thousand pounds for the competition and you've never lifted a weight in your life. Right, right. What do I do? Like, how do I win the, the competition on Friday against people that's been bodybuilding their whole life? It's like it's 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 too late. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying you're at the point where you need this and want this one girl. You're already so far beneath her that you know, what I mean, your best thing is to go give it your best shot. And then rebuild yourself up, and you'll be better for the next one. Right, right. Real talk. And so, real quick, what, what um you have a few books. So I think you have what, a Way of the Player, and um you have another one. the the uh, the Social Wisdom book. Could you explain some of your, you know some of your books and what they're about, real quick? Um, the first book I have is the Player Handbook. Mm-hmm. It's the it's the Player Handbook, uh, the, the Beginner's Guide to Becoming a Player. It's pretty much a beginning. Entry level, entry level guide for anybody just starting out. Mm. If you're looking to get with women, you don't know what to do. It's pretty much to start you from zero and work your way up. Um, the second book I wrote was called The Secret Laws of Social Wisdom. And that's more advanced game. It's more just mindset, spiritual, um, just introspective kind of game that really teaches you how to dive in yourself and pull out the better version of yourself that can help you attract people to yourself. Right. So those, those are the two books. Nice. So where can people get those books at? Uh, Amazon mm-hmm. and Lulu. L U L U. Nice, nice. Um, I prefer you get it on Lulu because they they give me a better cut. Nice. That's what's up. <laughs> and so before we go, where can where can people find you? Um, you know, shout out the your your YouTube page, websites, wherever, so people could like get in contact with you and anything. It's Eddie Fuse and everything. If you're watching, subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Eddie Fuse on YouTube. Eddie Fuse on Twitter. Follow my Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Like me and follow me on Facebook. EddieFuse.com is my website. Um, WayOfThePlayer.com is a former website. We've put that down. I have something else coming up in the near future. But um, that's Eddie Fuse and everything. Just follow me. Tweet me. Instagram me. Subscribe to me on YouTube. That's what's up, man. Eddie, yo, I appreciate you. Uh, you know, you know, hanging out with us. So we we have to do this again. You know what I mean? We have to do this again soon, and um, you know, we gonna make it happen again soon. But I appreciate you, you know, stopping by and you know, hitting us with some game. You feel me? And make sure you guys subscribe to Eddie Fuse. Go to his YouTube channel. Make sure you get his books and all that other good stuff. And um, yeah, we out, man. We'll we'll see you guys later, man. Anything else you wanna say, Eddie? Before we gone? That's all. I appreciate appreciate the interview. Appreciate you always reaching out. That's what's up, bro. For the new things you're doing, bro. That's what's up, bro. All right, guys, we out of here. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. We gone. Later. Peace.